In macOS 26, we finally have the ability to add icons to our folders and to change the colors. But I believe the implementation is less than optimal. You right click on a folder and choose Customize Folder, and you're presented with a grid of SF symbols organized by category, but there's no search field. So you have to locate an appropriate symbol, and when you select it, it gets applied as an overlay on the existing folder. When you select a tag, the tag color is then applied to the folder. And this is nice, but if you have multiple tags, the last selected tag color gets applied. If you don't like SF symbols, you can switch over to and find an emoji that might work better. And at least here, you can search. And if you like, you can make your selection from the search results. Well, this is a nice first step. But let me introduce you to Folder Flare. Just prior to WWDC 2025, I was inspired by this post on Mastodon, where Rob posted a short video on a Mac app that he was playing around with. So I decided to test out some vibe coding with ChatGPT, and this is what I came up with. And I've called it Folder Flare. Folder Flare works on earlier versions of macOS as well as macOS 26, with the caveat that you'll lose the folder animation on macOS 26 when you drag and drop items into a folder. Other than that, let me show you what it can do. To select the folder that you want to work with, you can either click on the button or just drag and drop onto that rectangle with the dotted line to set the path. Like the Mac OS version, you can change the display a folder color or not. My symbol picker is a bit different in that I offer a category picker as well as the ability to search. With SF symbols, in my app, you can choose what color you want that symbol to be. You can also rotate the symbol or any of the other icon types that you add. More on this in a minute. And you can also adjust the size too. When satisfied, you just click on the apply button and the folder that you designated will be updated. Let me show you the emoji option. This time though, I'm gonna to choose to tint the folder and you can tint it any color that you want. You can't tint an emoji though. It is what it is. But I can use my emoji picker here though to select either a category or search to narrow my options. Great, that looks about right. So I'm going to apply it. And thirdly, you have the option of applying your own custom image to a folder. And this can be done either by doing a drag and drop into that same area or by clicking on the selection button to choose one. Like all other overlays, you can resize and rotate. And did I mention that you can also reposition the icon as well? Or remove the applied shadow? Let's finalize this one by changing the folder color. Great. So let's apply it. If you want to remove a custom folder image, just make sure that your path is set and then click on the Remove Custom Icon button. And then you are free to leave it alone or apply another image if you like. This is a free app and you can download it from the link in the description. It's a simple DMG installer, so all you'll need to do is to drag and drop the application into your applications folder and you're good to go. For those of you who are developers and want to take a look at the code generated by me and by ChatGPT, feel free to download or fork the repository and make your own changes. I don't really plan on making any improvements to this. I will try to make some bug fixes if they're identified though, but it's basically a weekend project that I had fun working on. I hope you enjoy it too. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. You can subscribe to my channel to get notifications of new videos. And remember that you can also download my YouTube channel listing app for free and quick access to all of my 350 plus YouTube videos. A link's in the description. And also remember I have a full Swift, Swift UI course available on my Teachable site where you learn how to build a fun, multi-targeted app.